pulling out chairs and sending candy cards and flowers, not just because you could, but God damn it, because you cared. I want you to consider when you roll over and the sight of her face disgust you to your very soul. <laughs> I want you to think about why she won't cook, clean, wash, fuck around and sew, iron, and fuck you like she used to. If you're wondering why she's dissatisfied, look in her eyes. Your delusions of grandeur are mere slander to the likes of her. Comparing her to something so limited, such as a car, won't get you far. Come now. It's time to find that fountain in your soul where you bide and hide the realness of your being. After careful consideration, <coughs> coupled with divination, out came this creation, a mixture of prose and everyday living, something to keep your woman wishing, hands ringing, disbelieving. That's really you. First thing you're going to do, start with prayer. Say her name, God. Pray to and for your woman because she's the next best thing to mama. Knows how to cool your drama, steam a sauna, and ease your karma with the stroke of our end man. Understand the gift that is your woman, cosmic direction and protection, and so damn fine, she gives eunuchs. Directions. Come on. Now, let's talk about her mind. Yeah. You are going to change it. Because every time you open your mouth, out will spout praise. Tell her how you love to get lost tracing the lines in her face. Tell her why five carat diamonds couldn't compare to the sparkle in her eye. Touch those everyday reminders of child buried. Bearing in mind that she did that for you so your name would not be lost to the annals of history. Tell her yes. it's all about time. Tell her it's all about time. <laughs> Tell her it's all about time and there's not enough time so God damn it, you'd stop time just to spend time making time with her. Open your mouth and sing her praise. Raise her soul on the wings of your words and listen. Listen to her purr the perfection of your being a man. Man, imagine what's next. We'll talk about sex. Don't think for a moment it matters less. Fail this test, you could wind up Let's a woman. Now, in my personal opinion, it's best to start at the feet Hallelujah. and work your way up. Now, don't be hesitant to work them toes. Start with the peppermint scrub. Don't forget to rub. And when your fingertips get numb, come on now. Use your tongue. <laughs> work your way up the calf in counterclockwise swirls and Stop at her knees and tease and tickle her kneecaps as if they were fat nipples. And just as a surprise, when you make it to her thighs, use your chin to massage this beautiful mirage called woman. Next, work your way around to that beautiful mound of round brown flesh that gives a pair of jeans such stress. Seek out that spot where leg and butt of meat spread on some oil and start to eat. I'm talking three Slow licks uh -huh. and a nipple. <laughs> I said that was three slow licks and a nipple. And for the hearing impaired, that's three slow licks and a nibble to the tickle of your tongue will have a sprung panties hung on the shower rod for drying because you got that cat crying. Flying up her back, don't forget to make tracks, sort of like a snack. Maybe a meal, we'll, <laughs> we'll return to your infancy. You when the power of your suction made milk flow freely. Thirsty? Then start working, sucking and slurping till your neck starts hurting her. Back starts hurting and be certain you spell out her name. Pull her close to the concave of your soul and breathe her life energy. Touch the tendrils of her hair and feel her electricity. Tell her, bless me, bless 
me with the warmth of your womb. Allow me to be the blooms and planting seeds of cosmic destiny. Tell her, don't come for me. Come with me. Yeah. Constantly. Uh -huh. You are my woman. That's called life science. Thank y'all very much. Hey, hey. hey uh, if y'all participate in social media anyway, Facebook, Ben I Me Israel, ben Instagram, Poet Ben and the number one. Yeah. Look me up. Thank y'all. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Last thing. Every first and third Tuesday, I host an open mic in uh, Dalton, okay. the suburb of Chicago. What rep? What rep? It's called Words with Poets, uh, Rinky's Bar and Cafe 1207 Sibley Boulevard. Every first and third Tuesday. So my next show is October the 1st. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Love, love, love.